In this video, we're going to be manual muscle testing the posterior scalene and then lengthening it. So I'm just going to show my partner and describe the actions for the posterior scalene. Because of its fiber direction running from medial to lateral, it really only does lateral flexion. However, the lateral flexion that it does is very low in the C-spine. So I'm mimicking that for him right now by showing him this lateral flexion. Be very careful not to include any upper and capital lateral flexion with that action. So it's just a lateral flexion to the low C-spine. Typically, because it does not include any flexion, we're actually going to leave the head on the table so they can just slide it across the surface. Good. So that would be considered the active range of motion for the posterior scalene. Because I want to provide resistance, again, mainly to the neck, we don't want to resist above the ear, so I'm going to go in behind and below the ear towards the base of the skull and onto the side of the neck. We're going to bring him partway through the action. I'm going to ask him to hold his position, and I'm going to try to bring him head back towards neutral. Three, two, one. So again, help for a five-second count. And now he's just going to slide against my resistance as far as he can over to the side. Good. That also means that I can check his head to make sure he's not doing any lateral flexion during that motion. So that's really good. Because we do not have any flexion as a part of its actions, I do not need to have him off the table for the length of this one. It's simply going to be a lateral flexion to the opposite side. So again, I'm going to go to a similar location and I'm going to pull the neck and head into lateral flexion over here. So remember in our length position, we're not necessarily trying to get a stretch, so I'm just trying to feel the end feel for that muscle. That's going to conclude the manual muscle test and length for posterior scale.